look at this you want to see i come up here what is my big boy doing back there it won't focus for some reason i don't know why it's not focusing on him but see him back there look at him he's making the rounds he has come all the way around the pen checking the perimeter good morning guys welcome back to the wild huckleberry it's a cool morning not a particularly cool morning but but supposedly if not probably not tonight but going into tomorrow we're supposed to get rain <clears throat> and that's that's all i'm saying we're supposed to get rain i have so many things crossed we need rain so bad we got that little bit of rain the other day but it just wasn't enough i really 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 hope we get some more uh there's like an 82 percent chance of rain right this minute and i am so 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 ho hopeful excuse me so uh show you guys something real quick what do you what do you see here that would be a white beard all right, there's Farkas being Farkas. Now, what do you think that means? What, 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 uh, what does that mean right now? Well, tell you what. Let me throw some video in right here to show you a little something. All right, Randy. This is for you this morning. I went out yesterday and messed with the chicken door, and I... Uh, adjusted the screws on it and look who's coming to meet me this morning yes I know everybody's screaming at me but look there's two more coming from up there see them running at us look at all who is out this morning the chicken door opened this morning I changed the batteries and that didn't do anything so I adjusted the screws and played with it and it worked and lo and behold, look. Thank you, Randy. I'm, I can't help it, but I'm glad Dutch had that problem so you could mention it to me so I could try it. And there they go, running off. I do will go make them happy this morning because I have some uh, wormies for them. But I just had to report that the chicken door is working again. Eh, at least for now. Just one last quick... Thing to show that the door is in fact open. I didn't think they phased through it or anything. I mean, I knew it was open, but I like looking at it and seeing it. And you see everybody's enjoying a little something. I got them some more boon worms. It's an expensive treat for them, but they love them. From everything I've looked at, they're better for them than many others. So... Only the good stuff that I, when I can afford it <laughs> for my kiddos. So even the boys have some. They're trying to get, I may give them one more. I may get over here where I can really throw it to them. There we go. Give them just a little bit more. They've got access to some, but I enjoy watching my my chickens as they enjoy the goodies they are enjoying it very much and i'm really happy with that all right guys there you go thank you again randy it's crazy but it's the, the door's working it's doing right now it's opening it's letting the chickens out this is uh three days in a row that the chickens have gotten out and gotten to uh, be out when I set the thing. I had to, it was a twofold, well, there was two things I did. I, I did undid that, but also the time was wrong on the goofy thing. And I went ahead and moved the time up a little bit uh, to about seven o'clock to open up because of the uh, how late it's getting daylight. But of course, I'll have to reset it Saturday so that Sunday it opens 
earlier than that because it will be daylight an hour earlier. Time change. I'm not in love with it. Do you guys have an opinion on the time change stuff? I, I have a big opinion on it. I want it to stay just like it is right now. I don't want it to change. I really would love that. Good morning, Farkas. <laughs> Farkas went to crowing and one of the girls jumped up and made him jump. Oh, well, let me go ahead and give them some goodies. They're up here picking at what was already there. But Farkas, as usual, has jumped up on the on the trash can here. And then these two, well, three, are up here. Now, although Patty, she, she won't take a cube. But here, let me give them a cube real quick. Let me give them each cube. Let me find a good one. There's a good one, and come on, this one didn't have as many big ones as I like to find. Okay, here we go, that'll be good enough. All right, so we'll give Natasha hers. Oh, let's go up, Natasha, I know you, babe, and then we'll get a big man his. And Patty, again, stays right there. Look at this, you want to see? I come up here, what is my big boy doing back there? It won't focus for some reason. I don't know why it's not focusing on him, but see him back there? Look at him. He's making the rounds. He has come all the way around the pen, checking the perimeter. I'm telling you, that is one awesome livestock guardian dog right there. But he is checking it out, doing his rounds this morning. And now I'm going to give the chickens some goodies up here and I have goodies for them down there too but let's go ahead and give them their goodies you know I had a short I was showing these uh, barn <coughs> thank you Parkus these barn builders and how pretty they are but I'm saying these uh, olive eggers that I got I don't even know what exactly they are but I think they are so pretty with that dark gray neck and the light gray, gray feathers they're pretty chickens too i love their their dark legs let's see if i can get past the barn builder to show you see how dark their legs are but they got a little bit of feather on them a little bit of feathers on them and of course this girl white beard who is now my only easter egger my only americana left and she's my buddy well I do have one Americana left uh, out running around, but I don't think he's going to lay me. I don't think he's going to lay me any eggs. <sighs> Luna, leave Clint alone. <sighs> she loves Natasha so much, but she does not love Clint. Luna, quit. <sighs> she, something in the pen that Thor left, and she had to go pick it up. Anyway, let me take care of these guys, and uh, I'll get back with you. All right, and for you who are new, I'm going to do a little introduction of everybody in here in this pen. This is Thor. He is our livestock guardian dog. Come here, Clover. Clover, come here, baby. This is little Clover. I'm going to give her a, a treat. She loves her treats. That's Clover. Let's see. That right there is Valkyrie. Is it? Let me make sure. No, that's little girl. Her and Valkyrie look so much alike at first. That's little girl. The one walking away there, that's uh, Daisy. And this one right here is Willow. And they're both little girl's babies. That's Honey right there. That's my buddy. Here you go, honey. Hey, there you go, honey. You want a treat? That little one right there, who I need to do some doctoring on, that is uh, Poppy. That is Boots right there. What's up, big man? What's up, big guy? All right, that is Patches. That is one of my Kikos. That is uh, Leia right there. 
She's a pure Kiko. That right there is, quit trying to eat the, please stop trying to eat the tripod. That is Rusty. Let's see, that is Valkyrie right there. That's, and Boots is her son. Oh, this is Storm right here. Storm wants a treat. And that is her mama. That is Bitey. And Bitey is, is Honey Mama. And then uh, Storm is Patches Mama. Do you want it, Patches, or not? Because... Others are going to take it, babe. There. Gosh, I feel like I'm about to be very surrounded. Oh, get down, babies. Get down. <laughs> now, where... I'm, oh, stop. I'm missing somebody. She's over there. Get down, babe. Now, over there, we have... My cows, well, that's Patty Cake, that's Patty. That's our little girl who was born back in May. And then this is her mama and daddy. That's Natasha and Clint. And on the other side of Natasha there, if I can get her around, that's Ray, my other Kiko Doe. Now I'm being attacked because I brought snacks out here. Hang on, guys. Look at this. You think I'm surrounded here? Here, Bitey. Oh, little girl, you have one. Here, Bitey. Oh, no. Here, Willow. Do you... Willow? Thor, move. Okay, good. Willow took one. Storm, get down, baby. Okay. Hold on. I'm being attacked big time here. Hold on. Clover took hers. Here, Storm. Storm, look up, baby. There you go. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to get out of here because I'm being overly attacked for my snacks. Uh, that, I think I mentioned Willow, so, I mean uh, Daisy. So I think I got everybody covered, and now I'm going to have to go. What's up, Boots? Uh, I'm going to have to get out of here. They, didn't, they know I've got a pocket full of treats, and so they're, they're on me pretty good. That one on the outside right there, that's Luna, a crazy girl. Not many of my chickens have, oh, back up girls, back up, you've already had yours now, you've had yours, you're not getting more. <laughs> the girls are going crazy now. But uh, not many of the chickens have names other than, well, that rooster definitely has a name, that's Farkas. But uh, I haven't named a lot of the others i know i'm bad but whitebeard and farkas and lovey are really the only ones that have names at this point in time <laughs> so got to do better than that i need to name my new rooster if you got any thoughts <clears throat> i'll show him to you here in a minute but if you have any thoughts on naming him make some suggestions All right, this is the little guy I need a name for. Isn't he pretty though? He's a gorgeous little rooster, but he is a little guy. Which if you hear him crow, you can tell, and he may crow for us. He was crowing as I walked up here. Can you give us a little crow, Bubba? No, thank you. There he goes. <laughs> Thank you, big guy. All right, there's a pretty girl. And there's the one that I thought, I was convinced that was a rooster until she got hurt and uh, the other chickens were picking on her somewhere. And I have since been able to tell that is not a rooster. That is a hen. It's a big girl. That's the biggest one out of my barnyard mixes that I got. Uh, almost comparable in size to uh, the roosters that I have in here and, and a couple of them but that's the other rooster that I got with the barnyard mix and she's bigger than him 
But here's the boys. The boys are doing okay. They are do, surviving in their pen just fine. I'm just uh, keeping them in here for about a month. That's all I'm. That's all I'm going to say. But anyway, I'm going to give them some goodies now, and uh, you guys hope you enjoy the video. I've been wondering when someone was going to lay in this doghouse that I still haven't moved. And look right there. There's an egg. May have to check back there and be sure it's a perfect spot for it but yet i haven't seen an egg laid there yet and i'm driving by and i look and there's an egg and as soon as i picked that egg up i thought i would look in here because there's a nice spot right there but as you can see no eggs the spot there and then i saw this spot over here so now the mystery is solved for me of where my dear girl, and you see one of them got crushed, but I, know, I now know exactly where my girl uh, Whitebeard has been laying. Oh, these dang chickens and their egg laying, they're driving me nuts. that's the way you do it have everybody eating around everywhere and then you get the hay out without being harassed overly although I'm being harassed somewhat by the goats right now because I still have treats in my pocket but that should be good all right now we are finished with it as we have the steps on it you see them going up got a handrail and all well this baby is ready to be hunted now and saturday i'm hoping to have my grandson in here with me this stand should be good and saw a lot of deer around it so or well, a lot of deer sign 
around it, excuse me. So we shall see.